all right let's be honest who else out there has hit a clip and then realized they weren't recording come on put your hands in the air i've done it you've done it we've all done it in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to fix that to where you'll never have to hit record and this will always be recording in the background so we've all been there we're casually gaming we hit a clip just like this one And you know, we get all hyped up because we hit a clip, but like, yeah, I'm about to go show this to all my friends. And then you realize I wasn't recording. Well, today we're gonna solve that issue with Nvidia Shadow Play. And this way, you'll never have to hit record. As soon as you boot up your PC, it'll work. I'll show you guys all the options on how to set it up and everything like that. We're gonna go through the FPS that you can set, the quality you can set, everything like that. And this way, you'll never have to boot it up. And all you gotta do is click two buttons and you capture. However long you set it, you can be 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, however long you want. So let's get right into the tutorial and make sure you guys like the video because my finger is telling you guys to like it. And you see that zoom? It's going to go in somewhere that you don't want it to go. All right, let's go. Alrighty, so the app that we will be using or the website that we will be going to will be linked here in the description. It is called NVIDIA GeForce Experience or just GeForce Experience. You can... Uh, Click the link that is in the description. Also in the video will be my socials and the links to my products like my mice, my uh, nice little gaming mouse, my key controller, my PC, everything like that will be in the description. So if you guys want to head down there, click those links and it'll send you to that. But anyways, click the link that I will link in the description right here or you can just look up GeForce Experience. Hit download now, it downloads. As you can see, I already have it downloaded so we're not gonna go through the steps right there but that's simple enough on how to get shadow play. And then I'll show you guys how to set it up here on your PC right now. Alrighty, so once we have GeForce Experience downloaded, it's as simple as this. You hit Alt and Z and boom, GeForce Experience pops up and it's simple as this. You get all these cool stuffs that you can screenshot. You can go into photo mode. You get game filters, which a lot of you guys from my tutorials use my game filters for certain games. If you haven't, go watch the tutorials. I make games look great. Um, anyways, you get instant replay, which is why you guys are here. You can record basically everything you can also record if you want to make like youtube videos or stuff like that i just use obs studio you can broadcast as well and then there's performance gallery you can turn on your camera if you want this is like all obs stuff and then there's the settings which we're about to get into right now Alrighty, so now in these steps we're gonna walk you through the best settings here or walk you through the settings tab first off you want to make sure that instant replay is turned off because you are not going to be able to change your uh quality or any of your uh, recording settings while the instant replay is on so you have to turn that off it's a little kink but other than that you have to turn it off every time it's not hard you just turn it off uh you go into settings here first off we're gonna scroll down to video capture because this is why you guys are here and we're gonna make this the first stop here you go to video capture this is where you can change the length of the instant replays again this is always running in the background always so whatever you set this to if you want it to record the last minute of your gameplay from the time that you hit capture, it's going to record the last minute. Personally, for me, uh, I use the last 30 seconds because honestly, I just go for little clips and, you know, Call of Duty hitting a nice little sniper, a nice little double kill. It's like 30 seconds long. And honestly, the clips are half a gigabyte at 30 seconds for how I have it set. So my resolution, I use 4K, so of course, and the highest bitrate possible. So of course, it's gonna take up a lot more. For me personally, I was capturing way too much just junk basically, and I was always having to go back and edit it. So for me personally, I just use 30 seconds, but that is up to you. You can lower the resolution, but you have some resolution options here. Um, I believe if you have a 30 series card is when you can use the 8K, but it caps it at 30 FPS, so kind of looks kind of junky to me so we don't use that we use 4k because that is the highest quality i can get with the highest bit rate here you could use 1440p but it caps your bit rate at 50 and bit rate is what makes the video look clear and less blurry like if you're on a twitch stream and it gets blurry when they're moving around that's because the bit rate's too low and twitch caps bit rate but anyways that's basically that quality goes up simple as can be you can set it to whatever you want it to be you can honestly 1080 720 whatever you want it to be and of course if you don't have as much storage you can just set it to 1440 same bit rate and you're only wasting like a quarter of a gig not even that like an eighth so honestly that's best settings for that for the video capture 
Alrighty, so this is gonna be how you're going to be able to clip it. So basically in here, it's gonna have keyboard shortcuts. It's as simple as this. You can make anything to how you want it to be. But for recording, as you guys can see, and it's gonna have it to whatever you have. I have it to 30 seconds, so it has 0 0.5 minutes. If you have it set to five minutes, it'll show five minutes. You can bind it to whatever you wanna bind it to. Um, see, if, if I do that, you just click and you hit backspace, and then you can just bind it to whatever you want. For me, I put alt and right on my arrow keys because for me, it's just the closest from my uh, gaming mouse hands, my keyboard. So I just hit alt and right for me. And there's also stuff on here like you can turn instant replay on and off. I don't know why I would use that because you always want it on for me, honestly. Um, but that's basically the only one I use. And now we're going to go show you guys. Oh, sorry about that. I had a little burp. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to show you guys where to go to where to find these you go over here to recordings right under keyboard shortcuts you go down to here to videos and this is where you're going to select where you want your videos to be i personally have it under my videos file so it's basically as you guys can see if oh other monitor <laughs> it's under my videos file so simple as can be right there with the videos so that is nvidia shadow play and how it works and how to download and how to set it up hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you guys hit that like button if you made it this far in the video comment a big fat w if you made it this far i appreciate you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace